Some friends of mine have been asking me what the best way of managing references in Microsoft Word is. They've taken university classes and been taught how to manually reference. And for anyone who's tried manually referencing, you realize how much of a nightmare it is. So the one program I recommend for referencing is called Manually Desktop. This is a dedicated reference manager and it has a plugin for Microsoft Word. Now, since I just finished my PhD thesis, I can see that this program has been completely invaluable. It saved me a lot of time. And if you're just starting off, it's one of the first programs you should download and install. So let's download it. Let's go to menly.com and download Menly Desktop. And so let's select run. Let's accept the user account control prompt and begin the installation of Mendeley Desktop. So the program's a standard Windows installer, so select next, agree with the license agreement, select next, and then select install. Select finish and leave the checkbox to run Mendeley Desktop. So it will say welcome to Mendeley and you can either log in or register. I'm going to make a new account just for illustration purposes. So I'll use my junk test email. And yeah, don't bother emailing me here because I never check this email. So once we've input the details, it'll ask for our field of study and our academic status. So I'm going to select physics and astronomy and I'm going to select PhD student. And then I'm going to select create account. And now it'll ask me what academic institution I belong to. So I'm just going to type in University of Strathclyde. And there it is, so let's select it. And then let's select save and continue. And now it will tell me to download Menly Desktop. But we've just done that, so let's input the email. And let's input the password and then select sign in. And I'll ask you to import your existing library and to claim your publications. I'm going to skip both of these steps just now. And I'm going to skip the popular physics papers as well. So the first thing I'm going to do now is go to Tools and then install MS Word plugin. So now let's open up Word. Let's select a blank document and let's go to the Reference tab. And now you'll notice we've got the Insert Citation button. And we also have the Insert Bibliography button and we also have the style menu. So before actually using Mendeley Desktop with Word, you need to add your documents to Mendeley Desktop. And if you've got your publications that you're interested in reading in PDF format, all you need to do is drag and drop them over to Mendeley. So Mendeley will scan the PDF and it will automatically extract the information from the PDF. Now for journal articles, it's very good, especially if they have a DOI number. This is a digital object identifier. So basically, Menly scans that number and if it finds a match, then it has all the information about the publication. 
So I've noticed that Mendeley Desktop sometimes lacks a bit when it comes to book chapters as it automatically assumes that they're a journal article. So this book chapter that I wrote, I added to Mendeley and you see that it's called it Fluorescent Spectroscopy and Microscopy. That is actually the name of the book. So what I'm going to do is change this type to book section. I'm going to open up the PDF within Mendeley. So let's just cut the name that it's given the book chapter and paste that in book. And from the PDF, we know the title is called Nanometrology. And the authors are David and myself, and that's correct. The year's correct, the volume's correct. And let's get to page numbers now. So essentially just scan through the book and get all the relevant information and just put it into Mendeley. So we know the chapter is 11 from the top. So we can get all the relevant information from the front matter of the book, such as the city, the edition, if it has one, in this case it doesn't, the editors, the publisher, and the URL it's got automatically from the DOI. So now I'm happy that Mendeley has the correct information about this book chapter. And I'm happy with the two journal articles that I added. It picked up all the relevant information from the DOI. So let's just um, type into Word my paper one. And let's go to insert citation. And then select go to Mendeley. And let's just pick one of my papers and then select cite. So now let's type my paper two. And you guessed it, go to insert citation, go to Mendeley, and then select the second citation that you want to cite. So my paper one, my paper two. And now let's go to the end of the document and then just type in references. And this is the section you would have all your references. So what you do is select insert bibliography and as I mentioned, you can change the style. Now the style I want to use isn't there, so I'm going to go to More Styles, and then I'm going to go to Get More Styles. And I want the Institute of Physics, Numeric, and I'm going to install that one. And then select Done. Now it's not actually using that style just now, so I'll need to go to more styles again. And now I'll need to go to the installed list and find Institute of Physics and select use this style. And then select done. So now I'm using this numeric referencing style. So you see I've got my paper one and my paper two. So assuming the one and two were manually referenced. And then encountering the problem, oh dear, I found a reference that goes before reference number one. Well, if I had to manually reference, I would need to change what was one to two and what was two to three and etc. etc. So if I had 100 references, this would be very time consuming. But as you see in Mendeley, everything is sorted automatically. So now let's look at some other commonly used styles in the UK. So I'm going to go to get more styles again, and I'm going to search for Harvard, and I'm wanting a UK Harvard format, so let's take the Imperial College London one here, let's select install, 
and then select done. And because it's a Harvard UK standard format, all the major institutions in the UK should have a very similar format. Again, I'll need to go to get more styles and select it here and select use this style and then select done. So imagine you had referenced manually and had a hundred references and then your supervisor said, no, you should be using this reference format. Well, with Mendeley, it's just a couple of clicks. If you manually referenced, you'd be there all day. So one other question I'm asked is what happens if I don't have the document in PDF? Well, to the top, you can go to file and add entry manually. And I'll use a paper of mine that's in press. So I've got a copy of it beside me and I'm just going to type in its information. So type in the title and type in on the offers. So you just type in the offers, their surname, and then the comma, and then their initials, and then press enter, and then you're on to the next offer. So keep doing that till you've went through all the offers for the current publication that you're wanting to input. So once you've filled in all the offers, just click out of the field and then proceed filling in with the rest of the information. So this paper has been submitted to Measurement Science and Technology. It's not been accepted for publication yet, so I'm just going to put a note that it's in preparation. And because it's in preparation, I don't have the rest of the information. However, if it was a published paper in a journal, you would likely have a DOI and you could just input that and then select the search button to look it up. If it was an older journal or a book chapter, then you would need to compute all the information manually, but you can quickly fill in all the fields. One other thing is there is a file section. So if you were to scan an old paper, then so long as you save it to PDF, you could easily just add it to the file section here. And everything added to Mendeley gets synced to one's Mendeley account. So basically you get two gigabytes free storage space. And this is ample for most students, especially during their undergraduate. So let's go to Word and let's just add that fourth reference, the one that we just manually input. So we'll go to Insert Citation, go to Mendeley, and then we'll select that reference and then select Cite. And now we'll just change it to the numeric format. As you see, everything's OK. And all the references in both referencing styles. So that's the basics of Mendeley. And now let's just go through a more complicated document, my PhD thesis. So I extensively used Mendeley and I used a numeric format. So you can see the number of references I have. So you can see that Mendeley has done its job pretty well here. Now imagine manually referencing all of that. So let's just minimize that and view all the pages so you can see how complex this document is. And Menley's done its 
its job really, really well. So I recommend using Mendeley and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video, especially Jess and Yota who I made it for.